I'm just going to stand in this little area for a while. Um, quite a lot of small birds floating around. Um, I think some warblers, um, some long-tailed tits, so, uh, and, and the usual blue tits and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to stay in this area for a little while. There's lots of berries on the trees for them to feed on, that sort of thing. So um, we'll see if we can get a few shots, because you know, we are struggling to find some photos this morning again. But uh, we'll see if we can get a few shots at least. So over there in the distance, you can actually just see the, uh, the first hide we went into when we arrived. So we walked around the bottom end of the lake and, and walking around up the other side now, so. But still, there's still not a lot around. As I said in the last few videos, you know, it is that time of year. It is really quiet, but it's a beautiful place. I mean, look at it, you know, fantastic. So we're just coming into an area which is known as the uh, San Martin Hotel, uh, along this old railway line. These gates, in breeding season for the San Martins, these gates are actually closed so you have to walk around the back. Um, but this is the old railway line and along here um, is what used to be an old loading bay uh, for the trains. And within there they've actually put these, um, these pipes which is actually where the San Martins nest. So you can see, see all the all the sand inside the pipes as well. If you look closely, obviously nothing in here now. Um, but yeah, quite a nice occasion. You know, if you come and stand at a distance when they are breeding, you can get some decent photos. But I must admit, I try and keep away from that area when they are. I must say these gates are closed anyway to stop you coming too close. So here you can see we just back off the old uh, railway line and back into the reserve again. Right at the top end now, so just got to walk around down the whole length of it again, but around the other side. As you guys that follow my channel regularly know that uh, this is one of my favourite spots, what they call Toad Pond here. Um, this is where I, I uh, took a photo of the grass snake. Um, and the um, uh, and the turtle uh, not so long ago, so I'll put a link to the to the video for that above uh, and in the description below. 
Um, but yeah, but this is the kingfisher have been seen quite regularly around here in the last couple of weeks as well. So um, I, this is one area I've always wanted to catch the kingfisher because there's some great perches, some great um, um, compositions for the for the kingfisher around here. So um, I regularly stop by and have a look here and just sit here. Um, uh, and I may even do that you know, in the next couple of days again. But uh, but got a few minutes uh, we're getting a bit rushed now for time still got a fair walk back so uh, we'll have a little look and see if anything turns up so for those of you uh, who watched my uh, photographing birds on a dark background video the other week uh, this is where I filmed that from uh, for those of you who haven't seen it you know I'll put a link uh, hopefully you'll stop by and take a look at that one too We're now on the walk uh, back down towards the car park area. A little way to go yet, but uh, if we get time. Uh, we'll pass the, uh, the standing hide. If we get time, we'll have a little peek in there. Um, don't think we get time to go into the double deck hide today, but uh, quick look in the standing hide on the way past. Here we are in what we call the standing hide, just looking out over the lake. Again, there's really not a lot around, there's some stuff out on the island. Um, looks like there's, what is it, let's get the binoculars. Uh, yeah, you've got some geese out there. Plenty of lapwings. Uh, and a lot of gulls out there, but uh, can't see much else. So yeah, I think this video is going to be a tour of summer leaves without any wildlife images, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we've got a great white egret just over on the right hand side. Yeah, the great great white is just down behind that reed there, you can just occasionally see it's popping its head up, um, moving around, but again with the reeds being so high, very difficult to see. So this is the area referred to as the butterfly meadow. There's not a lot in here at the moment, but um, in the early summer, uh, this all grows up and it's a wonderful place for uh, capturing images of butterflies. Yeah, so this is the entrance to the uh, double deck height. I say we're not gonna go in there today, not much time, but um, you've seen plenty of uh, videos and photos from me taken in there so we'll give that one a miss today and then carry on the walk back it's starting to get quite busy now I mean there's quite a few people wandering around now so uh, it becomes quite difficult to video to uh, to photograph and, and anything that's around tends to get scared off anyway so start to realize you know the main reason I do tend to sit in the hides quite often because you're out of the way or just pick somewhere a quiet spot just out of the way where um, where you're not going to bump into too many people. But yeah, just going to make our way back to the car park now. Um, and I don't think there'll be anything else to report really. So uh, today's video is, I guess, a bit of a tour of Summer Lees. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed it and see what the place is like. And definitely worth a visit if you're in the area, you know. Um, beautiful place to come, plenty to do, plenty around here. Um, so certainly give it a go, give it a try and uh, hopefully I'll bring you plenty more pictures, videos, interesting stuff from the place over the time 
uh, as you know uh, it's one of my local spots at the moment um, so yeah on that note have a great day whatever you're doing um, great if uh, if you're not subscribed to have you on board so uh, you know please click the subscribe button for me that'd be great and if you like the video you know click a like that always helps me as well that's just a pigeon just coming through the tree um and i'll catch up with you again soon bye for now <laughs>